Hey you guys, Jeremy Terry again with Music Marketing TV. And today I have a very quick and easy video for you. This one is on Blue Cat Audio's MB7 mixer and how to use its global grouping. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't know is Blue Cat Audio's MB7 mixer allows you to globally group parameters. And what that means is if you get, let's say, two stereo modes or two mono ones, and you put them on different channels like I have right now, you're going to be able to actually control the parameters separately. Now, these are two separate plugins. We have one here and one here. So normally the way this works is you either do quick group and you link parameters and you can even reverse them, make them go opposite of each other. But we're not going to be doing any of that. What we want to do is we want to go to right here at the bottom where it says no group and we want to go global. So if we go global, do global one, we'll see that these actually combine controls. Now let's take it out of the main outputs just real quick. Let's put it on, let's see, band three on this channel right here, global one. You see how they have different colors too. Global two will be a little bit darker and all the way to global eight, which will be red. Now this is the same thing with the locals, but global is basically allows you to control it within instances. So let's say I have two stereo instances or four stereo instances, I can make them all globally controllable. Now next what we want to do is we want to either reverse or keep the same. If you click reverse, it automatically reverses the parameters. As you can see here on band three, the pan is opposite of what's on band one on this instance. If I reset that, boosts and cuts. So if we hit play on this, let's find a good section where it actually has a uh, audio playing. We have a vocal bus right here. There's no drums on this session currently but we can control the drum bus. And let's set this to one band, so it controls everything, and let's see what happens. It's been dry far too long. Summer sun has got it wrong. The old routine is here again. Oh. This will change, I don't know when. And there you go, there you have it. It's really quick, really easy to do, and as you see, it's basically set up to help you do more creative effects, or let's say you have a really busy mix and you have a lot of frequencies that are clashing, you can easily link them all together and have one parameter control a specific frequency. Let's say you have a kick drum coming in, you wanna boost that specific frequency, you can actually boost that while it ducks down everything else with low end material, and then you can put it back to normal when the change comes in. But anyway, that's today's video. Once again, I am Jerry Mateo from Music Marketing TV, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.